what did you love most about your characters? Oh, oh my goodness. First off, thank you guys for being here. I mean, this is a labor of love. I am so honored to have been able to, you know, do a film like this. So I just want to say thank you and just thanks to the cast, of course, but also our director, Wes, producer, Andrew. Everybody who's here who's supported, thank you guys. Um, the part that was amazing for me that I enjoyed the most is being able to kick some motherfucking ass. <laughs> no, but it was really, really fun um, to learn uh, the different styles of, you know, the fight training, the sea lot, and also uh, gun training. It was intense because I was also six weeks pregnant and I just had my baby. Um, thank you. She said I did that. I did that. Right? You know. But I had a supportive group, and I just want to say it was it was hard work, but it's really rewarding. When you look at that screen, right? I was like, what? I mean, so I'm just honored and proud that we got a chance to do this. So I enjoyed that part and also working with all these amazing people. It was really, really a pleasure. For me, uh, yeah, clap it up, clap it up. Clap it up. For me, uh, it was just working with this talented cast. I mean, I've, I've been wanting to work with you, I've been wanting to work with you and, and everybody, but uh, just reading this script, I mean, it was a page turner like a motherfucker. You know what I mean? And uh, just, it, it's a conversation piece because there are flaws in the in the legal system, the, ju the justice system. But uh, yeah, it was all about love for me. That's what I loved about Gabriel. He, he was all about his brother. He did all this for his brother, and he risked his life, died for his brother. So that's what I love most about it. Yo, I say yo. So I'm gonna just get this out the way early. I was in handcuffs most of the movie. I really enjoy that. You know what I mean? So um, <clears throat> like Les, I called Wes about this because I read the script and I literally I took a bathroom break. That was the only time that I put the script down. You know what I mean? And it was it was like a really, really interesting read. But for me, you know, I, I don't know. I don't know, you know, because see me, I like, I don't know what y'all walk is, right? But I like, I kind of let God lead my steps. And um, when I got on my first, first class flight ever in my life, to go do straight out of Compton, right? I was leaving New Orleans. And Lance was leaving New Orleans. And we sat next to each other on the plane. Yeah, and we we kind of touched and agreed at that moment that we was going to work together one day. And here we are. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. Yeah. Nothing beats what God does, you know what I mean? But yeah, super interesting character. Definitely got to show some, some ups and downs. Because y'all don't still know if he did it right. <laughs> yeah, but um, definitely this was an awesome cast, amazing cast. I think all of us are going to be friends for life. So to Wes, to Andrew, thank you so much for just putting me in this company. And yeah, love you. Good job, everybody. When Gerald was outside of the story, and um, I just love being able to collab with great artists and being a part of a great project like this, like you said, when we read the script, it was turning. I said, man, this is great. Get the part of toy. I live in Jersey, no problem. I'll be there. Um, just make sure that I was a part of it. And just being around great artists and being able to collab is the key. Being able to tell a story and be honest and authentic is my goal. <laughs> Shit, follow with Jasons, that's hard. I'm like, hey. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck to say now. Like God came in and everything. <laughs> I can't compete with that. No, I, I, this game, these guys were amazing, and, and um, uh, I love Wes. You know, Wes is my guy. And uh, I didn't even know it was in the movie or anything. I just kind of came on Wes's uh, uh, okay, and and uh, and then I got to work with all these great people. You know, I got a chance to work with but most of you. and. And this guy and that guy and her and so uh, it was awesome. <laughs> what I liked the most, uh, when I got there, I was sick. I got sick. I ate a bad meal on the plane, and 
So I had like a bad night, it was a red eye. So I was exhausted, I was like, where the hell am I, Camden? <laughs> what is this shit? You know, and then, and then Andrew came, it's like seven o'clock, he was like, hey buddy, I'm white. And he was a nice guy, and he's got me tickets to a baseball game, and I was like, oh, that's good, I like that already, you know? So, but then I met Jason, you know, and then connected, you know, and everybody else, that's a really sweet guy, I mean, could kind of love a guy like that, you know, he's just, just a sweet man. But anyway, I would just say the whole experience was good, you know what I mean? It was really, it got better and better, and, uh, and you know, I wound up liking Camden, hard to believe, right? But I like the movie, you know, and I like the people, so, you know, that's, I'll remember it, definitely. You know? Some things you don't remember, you know, a lot of things you did, you're like, what did I do? What did I do? What, I do? what is that? What movie was that? And then I had a steak with Johnny. I call him Johnny Steaks, because that's all he eats is steak. But we had one of the first meals. He goes, want a steak? I said, yeah, all right. So I got there. He started the steak before I got it. And then he goes, I'm going to pay for it, but you just finish your steak. So like I say, these are the things. It's the people. And, and you know, and then you see it up there. You know, we had a good time. And Wes was a great leader of the ship. Because he was like, every time I see your face, I'm happy. I said, well, thank you. I said, I'm happy too, you know. <laughs> so, you know, I mean, it's when people welcome you, you welcome them. And, you know, you need an Italian guy and something like this, right? <laughs> anyway, it, it was a, a, a really nice experience. And uh, let's do it again, right? Yeah. Okay, well, I'm like, how do I follow that? <laughs> Um, there were, I mean, everything about this was just amazing. This was, um, first of all, this was my first feature film, so. Yeah. 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 I found out it was in Jersey, and I was raised in Jersey, so I was in Jersey, so that was another plus. Yeah. Um, and then the first film, day of filming was on my birthday, yeah. and Lance yeah. Crow sang happy birthday to me, so I was like, oh my God. <laughs> but um, honestly, this whole cast was just like a family. Um, we hung out together. We, you know, it's just, I just felt very comfortable. Um, so coming on, just, just being my first um, film, I was really nervous, but Wes, like, he's, his direction is so great and he's just so calm and cool. So you, you weren't afraid to try new things and he'll give you suggestions and things like that. Um, but my favorite moment, honestly, was my first day of fight training. And um, I'm, I'm filming, I didn't know who was in the film, so I'm just fighting or whatever, and I'm going through, and I look crazy. And then Lance walks in, and I was like, okay. Um, and then Natori comes in later, I'm like, yo, what kind of film is this? <laughs> this is big. Um, so I just started realizing the level that this was on, and I'm just so grateful to be a part of it. <laughs> Got checked. I ain't gonna have my new eye. That was good. Needed it. But in all honesty, and I, I believe I talked to Gina Tori about this, and I talked to you as too. Getting this role at the time that I got it, because it had been a long time coming. I've been working hard, 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 and it was it came at a moment when I was getting close to getting close to getting close to not being sure how much longer I could go. And thank you. Thank you so much for rolling the dice on me and giving me the chance on the show. So how much I needed it at that time. And my wife up there, she can tell you for sure. Hey. Hey. Her belief in me has been, there's no words. So thank you, baby. Thank you. And then in terms of being on this, on this, this, this movie, this cast, this crew, this director, this man, it's been such a blessing, such a blessing, such a, such a blessing. It was so joyful to come to work every day. And when we get paid to do what we love to do, y'all know it ain't work. So thank you, and I mean that. Okay, so I know a couple of you all had spoke about, like, I mean, because y'all was kicking ass in this movie, let's be real. The training regimen, let's talk about that, because as I'm watching that, I'm like, there's no way. Like, if I walk around a block too fast, I need a break, you know? So, 
So talk to me about that. Like, how how was that for you all? Um, just you know, with the fight scenes and whatnot. <laughs> hey, he did it. I was right. <laughs> um, well, I already told y'all I was like really nervous, like doing it because I had to do it amongst the greats, right? So, um, but um, it, it was I don't, I don't know. I, it was fun. It was kind of like dance, honestly. It was like fight choreography, so that was cool. It was very strenuous and. Um, even though I've done some fight choreography before, I, it's hard to make it not look like I'm a dancer, so they had to, Felix had to try to get me to toughen up. Because <laughs> um, I was looking like I was doing a dance room. Um, but I uh, came in, fought train for, for a couple of days, and then we got to rehearse. And I just was worried about hitting somebody in real life. So that was, that was the main thing. Um, so I want to just chime in on this one because what I'm going to say is very rare. Um, each person up here who was fighting did 99% of their own stunt work, all right? Like, that level of dedication um, and skill is rare, and especially in African-American-led films, you just don't see it. We don't get a lot of those opportunities. They don't trust us. I hate to say they, but some people don't trust us. Um, but I trusted each and every one of them. And when I talked to each and every one of them, that was one of the first things, how do you feel about doing your own stunts? Um, and there were times in the tour, we, we tried to put a double in, she was like, no, like, I got it. Yeah. Um, and so literally 99% of everything is them doing it. And um, it's just a shout out to Felix and Yadi, our stunt coordinators, and not here. But like, um, my goal was to bring a, a fully authentic action film, not cheap, not like, pretend, not seeing slow punches. I wanted you guys to feel it, feel all the action. And so I went and got the absolute best like stunt coordinators that I've worked with before. And I just want to say this cast showed up and showed out with them. Yeah. I had to fight this guy. I was like, holy shit. It was big, you know? But, you know, we, we made it look good. And he wasn't macho about it, which is nice, because sometimes some actors get a little you know, they get a little, you know, you know what I mean. And so he was like kind of, he was cool, you know. We weren't trying to hurt each other, you know. Like sometimes I had a macho trip, so at least it was just about, you know, doing it, not, you know, being who wins, so which I enjoy because you got to care for the other guy because sometimes people want to give you a shot or something, you know. It's like, all right, I know you're tough, but it's a fucking movie, you know what I mean? <laughs> so just be careful, you know, be careful. Don't make me sit in the ditch for an hour, all right, while you kick me, you know? But anyway, uh, it was good to fight a little bit. I enjoyed that, because first I was like, what's fight training? I had a fight train, but it was actually good. I, I liked the action, you know? Uh, yeah, I, I don't know what this guy's talking about. He kept fucking roping me with the, the, to the cell cord, and my neck got bruises all over it. He slammed my head into the thing for real. <laughs> and Wes is like, you want to do your own stunts? And I was like, fuck, no. And he's like, well, we can't get you a stunt man. So I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> man, this is great. Yeah. Too late. Too late. Um, I was pretty excited about the stunts. I feel like, you know, as an actor, it's one of those things that you, like, wait for, right? And every time, they'd be like, nope, not doing it. We got to <laughs> <down."> <laughs> What? <clears throat> so, um... When we, when we did the last scene where me and Nick have our little scuffle, um, they was like, do you want to you wanna body slam them or do you want to double them? I was like, nah, no, nah, I think I got it. You know, and everybody like, no, you really gonna have to, you know. I'm like, listen, I got it. <laughs> so, so I pick him up and everybody like, oh, okay, yep, we got it. Everybody get it? Yep, we got it. He did a great job. So, Wes, I appreciate you for that. And also that day, I was like, you know what? I didn't kill nobody in the movie. Everybody else gets to kill somebody. And he was like, you want to kill him? And I said, yep. So he threw that fight in right there. So thank you, Wes, for that. Uh, I love the action, the stunts. I really wanted more. Um, I mean, it's fun. For actors, it's, it's where you get to dance and learn the choreograph choreography. So. Uh, it, it, it was a pleasure, it was a pleasure, but I really got to tip my hat to you. Hey,
Nobody knew, well, I know I didn't know she was pregnant, but you know, I, I was thinking back to uh, the scene where I pulled her over over the, the pew or whatever that, that is. But, uh, and I'm a gentle dude, especially with women, but uh, I, I reached around her stomach and then we finished that take and then she was like, uh, can you uh, not grab my stomach? And I was just like, oh man, she she's, She's sensitive, <laughs> but uh, I, I had no idea she was doing this while pregnant, and I mean, that's, that's, man, like, <laughs> that's, that's a lot, and, and my hat's off to you, so I, I really got to give it up for you on that one. Yeah. Well, thank you. It was, it was intense. The fight training, but thank you. Like, I, did, I do remember saying that. He's stronger than he thinks he is, though. He was like, I'm real gentle. I didn't even barely, I was like, well, you mad strong. Um, so I don't know if you realize, but no, I, I was definitely um, a little extra sensitive at that time. But yeah, the, the fight training and the whole process, like Wes said, I was, even though I was pregnant, I was like, I got this. Like, I'm a little bit of an overachiever for those who know me. <laughs> I just wanted to do well. I've never done an action film. This is my very first time. Even fighting in a movie, as many years as I was in power, so, I mean, I did 10 years, six seasons, and three seasons on Ghost. I never got a chance to really like pop off some, like kill somebody. I mean, I actually did kill Lakeisha, sorry, I just remembered that. No! Um, but I, didn't get I never got a chance to do this much focus on a specific craft. Like, you know, I came a little early to do some of the training, so it was like two weeks straight of just working with Felix and Yachty. And then um, we had a great armor, 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 armory, armor, armor, excuse me. So I felt really supported and, you know, I think that's part of it. It was a little scary at first to be like, oh. even the scene with uh, uh, me and um, Siobhan, we, what was the scene that we in, yeah, like the, the library. My gosh, I was just scared that a, a thing might ricochet and hit me. I was like, <laughs> but eventually I started to feel more confident and stronger and I really appreciate Wes giving me the freedom to actually try to do my stunts. By the end of the movie, I was like, oh, I got this. And I felt really confident and I'm glad that I got a chance to fight with this guy. I mean, he, he tried to throw me over the table, it was a lot of fun. and. Uh, and me and Jason, that scene, he was like, where did you learn that shit? I love that moment, because it's, again, we find comedy. All the people here, we had laughter, joy, and everything. So the fight training was really cool and really fun, and I'm glad I got it. I was strong enough to do it, so thank you. Women are pretty fucking amazing. So I just have to give you all so many flowers, because I'm always um, so, I, I admire actors because y'all are true artists. So seeing a film like this where you are having to mentally go into such a mean role, <laughs> like um, what do you all do to make that, do you have any like techniques to make that character believable or when you have had to play this role, you know, in anything? I mean, it, it simply is I, I had a mission. Um, that could have been my son. That could have been my daughter, and that's what I used. Uh, it was, I wouldn't even call uh, Gabe a villain. It was just he wanted what was right for his family. And, uh, you know, he recognized the, the flaws in the justice system. He studied it. He knew it like the back of his hand, you know, and uh, he just wanted what was right, and that was his, his brother. Um, for me, <clears throat> I think it was one of those things where I, had to let the elements take over. You know, when, when you look at yourself in a jail uniform and you look at these handcuffs, like, cause you know, a lot of people would be like, oh, I'm gonna take the handcuffs off then. I was like, no, 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 I just wanna keep them. You know what I mean? Cause it kind of like pushes the narrative a little bit. But then when you have people with greatness in them, look you straight in your face and say, I sentence you to death. It's like, what? You know what I mean? It's like, I don't know. I was just, I, I was letting it happen. You know what I mean? And just living in that moment, and that's it's crazy, especially if you're innocent. Like, what? I'm about to die like this? This is crazy. 
you know, so, um, yeah, and it, it does, you know, so, um, I just wanted it to feel very, like, real and authentic, and it was crazy, because, like, I feel like it was so hard to hold the tears back, you know what I mean, I felt like I just wanted to explode in some of the moments, and, like, <clears throat> what you see is just very authentic, and it's very real, and it's very in the moment. You know, so um, thank you, Wes, for giving us that uh, that safe space to really get busy like that because it was that's a lot. That's a lot. <laughs> it just made me think about like what Jason's talking about. One of my first conversations with Wes on the phone when when I took this part was about this is more than a movie, it's a movement. And we talked about the justice system and you know we all know someone or may have family who is incarcerated or we, we've seen so many people be imprisoned and they are innocent. So the story uh, of this movie Car King is not just for entertainment, but it's to awaken our senses and to make us think about how it, it's really happening to some young brothers. This is this could be your brother, your father, your sister, your son. And like we said here, Wes and I talked about, let's make this a movie that's also action packed, but also poignant and relevant and deep so that people start thinking like, dang, I understand your struggle. You're not a villain. This is about protecting our people and making sure more innocent young people aren't going to jail wrongfully. So I thought that was powerful. Yes, that's a good line. <laughs> cool smile <laughs> baby, yeah, right. Uh, I just, you know what, I, you gotta be truthful, that's all. If, you, if you're true and you're real and then you're looking at other people that are bringing it, so I play off that, you know, like you look at Jason, you look at Notori, I mean, these people are bringing it and I'm like, if you, if you're there and you're in present, you know, and you're real, you're always, it's always going to be more interesting uh, to me. I mean, it's more, that's where it could even be funny. You know what I mean? Funny isn't like, ha ha, well, look at me, I'm funny. No, 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 that's not what funny is. Funny could be, you're dead serious and you're like, oh, well, that was funny. Because it was real, you know, and that's why it was funny. That's why yeah, people don't understand whether it's dramatic or it's humor. The more you are real presence, if you fake, you know when you fake, you know, and you just go, let's do it again, because <laughs> I didn't feel at that time, you know? So just, I would say the, the truth is always more interesting, uh, that's more exciting, I think, a little, you know. Um, and I would say, for me, every time something happens in our community, to black people, to black men. Um, I always think of my brother, who is like my right hand man, um, my inspiration. And I really do, like when I see something on the news, I just can't imagine how I would feel if somebody did that to my brother. And so, you know, when I was your lieutenant and then this is your brother, I'm like, I just looked at y'all as my brothers. And I was like, if you say go, if he say go, I go. And I don't ask no question. And if I had to, do what I had to do to get him out, I would probably do the same thing. So for me, it was easy because, I, I mean, I get that anger when watching things on TV, and this actually gave me the outlet to, to, to act it out. I mean, um, for my character, like, and basically what everybody just said, it's just being truthful, as truthful as you can be. Um, and like, like Nick said, if you didn't feel like that one was truthful, Let's do that again, because I didn't really feel like it came from the heart. Um, for Duke, it was an end that justifies the means. He truly believed that that man had committed those crimes, and that was the only reason, that was what I had to held on, held on to to justify my character's behavior, that he truly believed that he'd done what he was being charged with. And so, just like you were saying, um, if my daughter was in that situation, my, where I came from was if someone I knew's child had been killed and gotten away with it, would I, what would I do to make sure that doesn't happen again? So that's what I, my motivation was. Um, so I just wanted to say each one of these actors is extremely humble. 
They make it sound like it's uh, not a difficult process to disappear inside of a character. They do it take after take after take because I do go again and again until we get it. Um, so I just want to say thank you guys for being open. Um, thank you for trusting me with you. Um, you know, I was telling Lance and Jason they hadn't seen it. I was like, I feel good about it, man. Like, you know, I don't know. Um, I'm always my harshest critic, but um, I'm really proud of you guys and the work that you did. So thank you, everybody. All right. And then, real quick, um, we talk about family. Uh, we mentioned a couple of people, but um, we can't do this without our crew. Um, from the camera team to the production department to the hair, uh, hair and makeup to like everybody. So um, my crew, please stand up if you're still here. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And everybody but Kylan, uh, sit down for me. So earlier I shouted out my wife and my little, my little baby. Um, this one here, I call him my brother now because he's gonna start aging me. Um, but that's my firstborn right there. And, uh, and it's now on my uh, camera team for the last three movies. So, um, one thing about this industry, um, because it hasn't traditionally been open to African Americans, we don't have that um, avenue where we are invited through family, through friends. We're normally having to kick the door down and in. Um, so that's why I'm so thankful for BT for always being, for years and years, been a stalwart of uh, fostering African American talent. And um, so, yeah, so I just want to make sure I thank everybody. And Andrew, um, real quick, um, this guy here, stand up, man. Um, we, yeah! first met, so we, we, we first met a few movies ago, I'll make this very quick. When we first started talking, we literally had knock down and drag out arguments like every night for like a week. And I, it's not that easy to provoke me to hark, to yell and to curse, but he did it. Um, I'm glad he did. We, we, uh, we, we both have certain talents that we complement each other very well. He steered the ship in because, you know, logistically this was tough. We were shooting in real government buildings, real courtrooms, using real blank weapons. And we didn't cut any corners with safety or making it feel authentic. So thank you, Andrew, for all your hard work. Yeah. <laughs> Number one to Wes. Excellent movie, but I noticed one thing. He died with his eyes open. He died with his eyes open. He died with his eyes open. Is that part of your trademark or something with movies? Or did that just happen? So I would say it's not a trademark of movies, but if you listen to Jada's um, statement at the very beginning of the movie, she looks people in their eyes. Yep. So I think yep. what we see, what we what we feel, the eyes are like the window to the soul. So I think it's open for interpretation as to what that means to you when you see people pass away and you still see their eyes open. This was incredible, amazing cast. I just wanted to say one thing on behalf of Wes and everybody. I've been around a lot of red carpets, a lot of directors. A lot of these directors get accolades when they're at the top, like the Scorsese's or everything like that, but you never get the accolades when you're already there, yep. right? One of the reasons why Spike Lee, Scorsese, and all these great directors last the test of time is because you have casts like this that are not just working for the money, they're working for who's directing and wrote the film. And because of that, I got to do his red carpet last year at Day to Die and saw the great cast that he had. Johnny's one of his regulars, a lot of these others as well. And I really want you to understand, it's my opinion, at this point, with all the great actors that we have here, first of all, thank you for doing this film. But number two, I honestly think you're looking at the next Oscar director. Right here. And the reason why I'm saying that, Spike Lee did films that hit a lot of topics that are still ongoing today through his genre. And film is what keeps people alive on the real topics that happen today, unfortunately. So when you have a director like this putting Thank you for showing.
showing up early for Newbie. I'm your host, Maria Menounos, and I am super <laughs> excited to make your movie experience.